Powders are ubiquitous, they're used by many industries and we have customers within the pharmaceutical sector, food, cosmetics, ceramics, metals, toner, powder coating and recently additive manufacturing or 3D printing. Powders are complex materials though, they consist of three different phases, the solid component which is the particle generally, they're surrounded by air as a gas and there's often liquid on the surface of the particle or within the particle structure and the way these three phases interact really dictates the bulk powder properties. But if we look at a processing environment, powders are handled under different stress regimes or strain regimes. They can be consolidated, which extrudes the air, causing the particles to pack more closely and changes the way the bulk powder behaves. They can be aerated during discharge or during blending process or conveying. And again, the introduction of air changes that particle-particle interactions and the overall bulk powder behavior. So recognizing firstly that the same powder can behave in quite different ways depending on the environment to which it's being exposed or handled is the first step in deciding how best to characterize them. The particles themselves, however, are variable in their own right. It used to be the case that the focus was solely on particle size and size distribution, but increasingly the recognition that shape, surface texture, stiffness, density, electrostatic forces that exist on the surface of the particles are going to contribute to how these interact and they need to be considered from the perspective of formulation and product development. So the concept of characterizing a powder with one number or one technique is really quite unrealistic. Recognizing that they behave in a specific way depending on the environment in the first place and then measuring the powder's sensitivity to that specific environment is critical to getting a good description of the multitude of ways in which powders can behave. Therefore it's important to come up with a method of broad characterization techniques in order to describe the full characteristic set of your materials that you may wish to be processing or formulating. Clearly there's thousands of different formulations across industries and the process environments will be specific to a given manufacturer. Nevertheless, understanding what the manufacturing environment subjects the powders to, recognizing the need to measure their sensitivity to that specific level of consolidation or flow rate or storage time, temperature, humidity, or whatever the variable may be that influences the powder behavior is paramount to recognizing what properties are going to be important to predict performance and understand quality.